Good morning from Lucas Family Farms. Today we start our major project. I will all this is the Woodland Mills trailer. and the Woodland Mill. We unloaded it yesterday and trailered it up here in a nice little snowstorm. And today we will start the build. As you can see, here is the cooler 14 horsepower motor for it, the cutting head, the loading ramp, and over here is all the parts for the mill. Here we have parts for the trailer. So we will start the trailer build first and build the mill onto the trailer. I won't bore you with all the unwrapping and the part organizing, but when we get it all done, you'll start seeing the build. First of all, we're building the HM126T sawmill. This is a trailer build manual. Oops, not an operator's manual. But the manual itself on the build is quite simple. The instructions are clear, simple, nothing over technical. All bolts are torqued. All your M10 bolts are all torqued. All the torque descriptions are simple and clean, 53 pounds for most of the bolts. The instructions are clean, simple. Nothing elaborate, running over, over and over again. I'm making it real difficult. About anybody can assemble this. So, easy to use build manual. We get our parts separated and get going here. Okay, we've just went ahead and finished unpacking and unwrapping the Woodland Mills. They weren't holding back on making this stuff strong. This is some heavy material. They give you everything you need here. Nuts and bolts wise, tie wraps, handles, everything that you would need to assemble the trailer. Heavy duty stuff, made really well. That crate right there for the trailer, keep that, don't break it, don't bend it. You'll need that in the assembly of the trailer. Really good quality stuff. They really thought this stuff through. They even give you the 3 8 drill bit that you'll use later to drill the holes for the stops 
for the motor and cutting head. These are the rails for the mill from the mill kit. Set them up on some 2x4s and 2x6s. Get them clearance off the ground. Instructions say they should be 30 and a half inches apart from each other. And now I'll start assembling by putting my bunks into this rail system and running nuts and bolts on it. We won't torque them yet because we want to make sure we keep everything square. I'll show you this when I'm done. All right. Now I have all the bunks installed. Frame is square and true. Bolts are torqued down. Now I'll clear this out the way and move this to set this frame on top of that box and continue with the build. I'll be installing these side panels. See you in a bit. Okay, the next step is to get this onto this. Hopefully. I can muster it. Here goes a try. Alrighty. Got it on there. Was no easy task for a one man job. It was definitely a two-man job, but I did it. It's there, centered. That's the crate that it came in. So now on to installing the side panels. And I'll show you that when I'm done. Okay, it's been... Let me turn you over. There we go. been about eight hours today I'm putting the trailer with the woodland mills together at a stopping point and be torquing the axle bolts starting tomorrow everything is level all the bunks are level adjustable stands are in. Eight hours, over a hundred bolts, all torqued. And day one is complete. Part two tomorrow. The Woodland Mills build. Okay, we're sitting at day two the Woodland Mills build. Earlier this morning I finished installing the axles. Only the left side required two shims which they apply and give you plenty of shims in case you need to keep those level. Installed the tires, wheels. Went ahead and installed The towing tongue. I am now going to install the lights and the electrical. I'll see you after I get done with this. And here we are. The finished trailer. Kind of sitting uneven right now. As I have the tongue 
lower to the ground so I can park my Viking in here. It is the Woodland Mills trailer, complete. Quite strong built trailer, built like a tank. Woodland Mills didn't hold nothing back on this. The two inch ball that this trailer uses. Next, rest of the assembly. That'll happen tomorrow. The rest of today is off. Then again, thanks again Woodland Mills, good build. Okay, today is the day of loading this sawmill head onto the trailer. It is cold outside. It is cold in here. It's 8 degrees outside and wind chill makes it minus 6 degrees. But this is going to be my attempt to use my rotary car lift to hopefully have enough lift on it to be able to get it on this trailer without having to remove the wheels and lowering the whole trailer. And I'm not able to use the chain of lift here because I won't have enough lift height to be able to get it on the trailer. Right now, I'm lifting from the top bracket four by fours on top of the lift stands to be able to get the height I need to get it on this trailer. Otherwise, take the trailer tires off, put the trailers on jack stands, and try to get it up underneath there. And I'll put some gloves on.
Okay, the build is complete. This is the HM126 Woodland Mills sawmill sitting on the trailer. Build was pretty simple. I'm sure if you put IKEA furniture together, you could put this together. to loosen up all the bolts on the frame for this sawmill head to get the wheels to sit right on the trailer track well once I loosened them up which I should have kept them real loose when I assembled it it would have sat down, the wheels would have sat on the track a lot better. But after that, finished it all up. It's complete. The question, and maybe it, it was a revision, I don't know, but To drill the holes, the 3 8 holes, for the pins to hold the sawmill while you're trailering it. On the books, it gave you two different descriptions. One is at 19 inches from the rear of the track, and the other one is at 64 and a half from the rear of the track. In which I went with the 64 and a half because it puts the weight just forward of the axles. So I figured that would be better in towing it around the farm here. The only issues I have with this was out of the three support stands, I have one that didn't, uh, no matter which way you would put the pin, it comes out being crooked. So it doesn't sit flat on the ground. And I tried it on all four, and it sits the same way on all four, so it must be that the holes, or maybe it was welded on a little crooked, or the holes were drilled crooked through the stand itself. So that might come into an issue when leveling the trailer when I'm out there on the farm. The rest of the other three fit just fine. The other issue I had was here on the 14 horsepower Kohler motor the exhaust deflector I would presume it is the way it is mounted it hits on the pulley bolt here. So I had to remove it in order to raise the head of the motor all the way up. As you can see the first time 
I went ahead and ran it up. I put a dent here on the side. So I repositioned it and that didn't work either. Put the dent right here on the lip. Should be a lot shallower or I can pretty much cut off the end of this bolt here some so that the head will be able to travel freely up and down when I adjust it. But otherwise that was the only problems I have with it. Built solid like a tank like I said. Now I'll go ahead and put oil in it, put fuel in it, and hopefully the weather breaks enough to where I can get out and start milling up all these logs I have pre-cut already on the property. This is going to be a long, fun summer project. A lot of builds going on. Then again, I say thanks to Woodland Mills. It was a fun, exciting build.